said you'd come. Now let's hope you're not too late. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. Maximum effort. This is going to be my new Justice League Snyder Cut Ryan Reynolds video. He posted a bunch of really funny Green Lantern stuff in a really special video. So I'll explain what's going on with that because he worked in a bunch of really funny Easter eggs to it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. We'll do a new Amazon giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and let me know who you want the new Green Lantern of the supposed Snyder Cut to be. There is a lot of Green Lantern stuff happening in the movie, but you'll see what's going on with this big Ryan Reynolds post that he did the other day. So starting with number five, earlier this week, you probably saw Ryan Reynolds posted a Justice League Snyder Cut Green Lantern video. He made a ton of Green Lantern Snyder Cut comments and jokes, along with Hawkman Black Adam movie statements and jokes about The Rock. He and The Rock are friends in real life, so The Rock even got in on it himself too. So I'll explain that in a second. But he posted this whole other video that he was then calling the leaked version of the Ryan Reynolds cut of the Green Lantern movie that then turned into a Green Lantern cut of the Snyder Cut movie. He worked in a bunch of extra stuff and funny Easter eggs to the video. It moves pretty quick, so see if you can spot everything that he added to it. You might have to rewind this, watch it a couple times to catch everything. Here's the full version of that video. God damn, that's beautiful. The Green Lantern. You think she'll break Mach 3? We'll find out soon enough. Stupid son of a bitch. It chose you. There is no way you can succeed. So number four, some of the extra footage and new scenes, quote unquote, from this Ryan Reynolds cut of Green Lantern are easier to spot than the others. The way he was posting this too is also a bit of a tongue in cheek joke about him leaking the Deadpool test footage back in 2014 at Comic Con. Like he's posting the entire cut of the new movie, leaking it online, but also leaking that funny ending with Green Lantern inside the Justice League Snyder cut movie. But it starts with that Deadpool 2 post credit scene of Deadpool killing Ryan Reynolds right after he reads the original Green Lantern script for the first time, seemingly preventing Ryan Reynolds from ever making the movie in the first place. You're welcome, Canada. Then he jumps to the actual Green Lantern movie intro, how Jordan's father has his accident. He cut it without any kind of transitions, so you notice some of the audio edits seem pretty weird. He did that in purpose just to make it seem extra janky. Like he edited the movie on his phone just to make it seem extra funny and extra bad. There's a bunch of jump cuts through the first 20 minutes of the movie, Hal Jordan getting the Green Lantern ring from Abin Sur, the ring taking him to Oa to meet the rest of the Green Lantern Corps and start his training. I love that he edited down his wife, Blake Lively's footage in the movie as Carol Ferris to like two seconds. She's in this version of the movie for two actual seconds. And keep in mind that they're married in real life and they just had three children. He meets Sinestro for the first time. He defeats Parallax. Then number three, this is one of the funnier big ones here. There's actual footage of Tom Cruise as Green Lantern at the end of the Reynolds cut as if somehow he's become a version of Hal Jordan that's shown up. My assumption is, is that it's just a joke about all the Tom Cruise Green Lantern casting rumors for the past three to four years. Ever since they announced a new Green Lantern Corps movie way back, I think it was in 2016, there have been rumors that Warner Brothers wanted Tom Cruise as their new version of Hal Jordan. All that Tom Cruise stuff started way before they ever started talking about a Green Lantern HBO series, so there's no way that Tom Cruise is going to be showing up as Green Lantern for the first time on an HBO Max series. So whoever winds up being the new Hal Jordan officially in the DCEU will be different. The whole idea is that this new Green Lantern for the HBO Max series will go on to a Green Lantern movie eventually. They are still making a brand new Green Lantern Corps movie, but no idea when that's going to be released. Probably not till well after they see how the Green Lantern HBO series does. If that does well, then they'll probably think about doing more Green Lantern stuff. The stuff they've already revealed about the plot and the characters of the Green Lantern HBO series is mostly that it'll be two different Green Lanterns and it'll take place during different time periods. It'll probably be like eight to ten episodes per season but they revealed it'll be Hal Jordan, then Jon Stewart, and also Sinestro, and we'll get a lot of Sinestro backstory and him slowly getting the yellow ring and founding the Sinestro Corps over the course of the series. So for those of you that have been wanting a larger Green Lantern Sinestro Corps War movie, like a big Justice League crossover, that could wind up happening way down the road if everything winds up working out. 
there's a bunch of DC fandom stuff that they'll probably reveal about the series in the Justice League Dark HBO series that they just announced. So there's a bunch of really big HBO, big budget DC series, but that's a little bit different than what's going on in the movies right now. But number two, next big, really big scene that he quote unquote works into this Reynolds cut. It turns into the Justice League Snyder cut movie with Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern showing up at the end of the movie after they defeated Steppenwolf. Like now he's leaking the Justice League Snyder cut ending too. Just more Deadpool test footage leak jokes. That's obviously a reference to all the rumors about Green Lantern in the Snyder Cut being the Ryan Reynolds version of the character from his movie. I've gotten so many messages about that. I don't believe in a million years that he's going to be in the Snyder Cut. It would completely blow my mind, but that's also addressed in his funny post here where he says, and apparently I'm already in it. Like he's not joking about the Snyder Cut itself because he is excited to see it. He's just joking about himself actually being in the movie. And speaking of Ryan Reynolds editing himself into the Justice League Snyder Cut, most of you will remember that they kind of tried to do a version of that with Crisis on Infinite Earths and the DC TV shows, like the Flash, Arrow, and the other Superman scenes that they worked into that post credit scene. They included this tag scene at the very end of the crossover, I think one of the reasons why you don't actually see Ryan Reynolds' face, because this is all footage from the Green Lantern movie, is just because they weren't able to get the rights or they weren't able to get Ryan Reynolds to officially sign off on it. Like they wanted to reference the Green Lantern Corps and the upcoming Green Lantern stuff that they have going on in the DC universe, but I think Warner Brothers had some really special rules that allowed them to use this particular footage. Like they literally just copy and pasted a scene from the Green Lantern Ryan Reynolds movie into Crisis on Infinite Earths. So part of that I think is them wanting to be kind of ambiguous about what's going to be happening in the future with Green Lantern and they didn't want to imply that Ryan Reynolds would suddenly show up on the DC TV shows or anything like that. Then you have all this Hawkman stuff that's going on in his post. He's also joking about being Hawkman in the Black Adam movie. The Hawkman thing is kind of a separate thing of him responding to the most ridiculous casting rumor ever from earlier this week on another fan blog claiming that he was going to be in the Black Adam movie as Hawkman. He even shouts out The Rock here who then replied with his own funny post getting in on the joke with Ryan Reynolds being in the Justice League Snyder Cut and quote unquote being Kevin Hart's real biological father, DNA test and all. It was the most amazing thread of jokes and one of the reasons why Ryan Reynolds is so awesome in real life for doing stuff like this. Most of the time when there are ridiculous rumors about movies or actors and characters, they'll usually just not respond or say anything. Sometimes people like James Gunn who are in positions of power will come out and say, no, 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 I didn't do this in the movie. Or there's a big rumor about Guardians of the Galaxy 3 at Marvel or his new Suicide Squad movie. He'll actually tell people, no, this isn't a real thing. I didn't put this in the movie. But then you have the S tier posts from people like Ryan Reynolds who will lean into the curve and use this kind of stuff for jokes of their own, which in my opinion is probably the best thing you could possibly do to one, dispel myths and rumors about movies and two, generate even more hype and get fans even more excited, which is the whole point of movie trailers and teasers at the end of the day, just to get people excited to go see whatever this new movie is going to be. So number one, as for actual Green Lantern in the Justice League Snyder Cut, it seems pretty clear that Ryan Reynolds is trying to say that he's not going to be in it unless he's doing some epic trolling. It's more likely that the Green Lantern stuff in the Snyder Cut is just more in line with the original story plans and deleted scenes that we heard about a long time ago. Originally what was supposed to happen is that in Zack Snyder's version of the first Justice League movie there was going to be an alternate ending post credit scene with Kilowog and Tomar Ray coming to visit Batman at his lake house after the Justice League had returned from defeating Steppenwolf. They would have talked about the threat of Darkseid and Apocalypse getting the Justice League ready for the sequel movie Justice League 2, that was when there were still going to be multiple Justice League movies, and we would have met a version of Hal Jordan who would have become Green Lantern during the Zack Snyder Justice League movies, then going on to the new Green Lantern Corps movie. There were a lot of rumors about Sam Benjamin being Hal Jordan, but that was never confirmed, so it's still open to theory crafting as to who the Hal Jordan of the Snyder Cut would be. We will get a full version of the Justice League Snyder Cut trailer at DC Fandom in a couple weeks. James Gunn has also been teasing a first look teaser for the new Suicide Squad movie too. And because Wonder Woman 1984 is still supposed to come out in October, as far as we know right now, there might be a new Wonder Woman trailer in the next couple of weeks too. Matt Reeves and Robert Pattinson are also doing a panel for the Batman 2021 movie. They probably won't have a big Batman trailer ready to go. Maybe a small teaser or behind the scenes clip or some first look teasers at the new villains like Penguin, Riddler, Catwoman. 
I'm also hopeful that they'll explain more details on Michael Keaton's Batman in the Flash movie just because the director of that movie has been teasing fans recently again. In other related news, James Gunn was also posting more new Suicide Squad movie videos earlier today, so I'll do a video for that sometime too because we know a little bit more about what's going on with that movie. While you wait for everything, everyone click here for that new Justice League Snyder Cut trailer and click here for that new Marvel Shang-Chi teaser video. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you guys tonight.